Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to do a mid-month update. Today's the 14th of April 2024. Uh, we have a Mercury retrograde that will continue until the 25th of April. Uh, we have the energy of the second quarter moon coming tomorrow and the uh, moody energy of Cancer. Uh, and your full moon for April 23rd is in Scorpio. So there's some news updates for you around energy. Let's see what's coming for the remainder of the month of April 2024. This is a focus, uh, excuse me, focus general reading. So take what hits you and leave the rest. And please support my channel by subscribing and liking and commenting. I'm talking as quick as I can. So... I'm trying to keep your attention. <laughs> Sagittarius, here we go. First energy is determination. Standing tall, knowing what you want. Fiery you. The energy of Earth. You may be looking at an Earth sign in the middle of this month. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could be a friend, a roommate, a family member, a relationship. There's the energy of a Libra also around. Some tension around something you're dealing with. Hope and inspiration. And the energy of judgment, uh, which is a Scorpio. So we have a few people around you right now, energetically. They could be connected with you one-on-one, -on -one, a family member, a friend, somebody that you know. Uh, we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have Libra. We have Gemini, Aquarius. We have uh, Scorpio. Uh, so you're handling all the stress well. There's things that are still undecided. And in front of you, uh, Sagittarius, uh, is an air sign. So we have a strong connection of air um, around the energy of Sagittarius. We have one connection of earth and a water sign, um, Scorpio. There's definitely uh, someone here that is a personal relationship that has you all a flutter. You're definitely interested. Now, also, there's someone here that you may have some tension with. It could be a Scorpio. Uh, the energy of tension um, in position four and tension in position six, they connect to the right and left of each other. So that's possible, but it could be anyone here. Let's throw the cards. Get a little more clarity for Sagittarius, please. Boom. Water, happiness, Libra, necessary changes, Sagittarius, uh, the sun, the Leo, the tower, and uh, feeling, so we have multiple people here on the bottom of the deck, yeah, we got a Sagittarius, you guys may be dealing with some crap before the end of the month. You see this? This is too many cooks in the kitchen. People who always want to be right have to get their last two cents in. Um, some of these people could be friends, family members, co-workers, but they're here and they're going to get their two cents in before the end of April. Um, I do see the energy of um, someone that's an air sign that's uh, stressed out and will be feeling left out. Uh, towards the end of April, I do see some tension around a connection with specifically a Libra. I do see the energy of the Sagittarius, uh, you, uh, making some changes around something that you're doing that you've been stressing about. Um, it could be making decisions and judgments. Uh, you will make some necessary changes around another air sign that you're in a relationship with. Uh, that you're hopeful and happy about. Um, I do see a change around things that you are stuck on right now. This is a change of, uh, you know, you making a choice and a decision, something that you've been dealing with. So it looks quite interesting. I'm going to say to you, Sagittarius, if you have a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Libra, all these people up here on the top, uh, they're all showing up within the rela uh, the reading. Um, there's definitely going to be some, some people that are going to have to deal with necessary changes and some people that you are going to be 
getting on your motorcycle and scooting away from. You're going to be making some choices and decisions by the end of the month about who you want, where, when, and how. Somebody's going to end up feeling left out in the cold. That's uh, for sure. So that's the energy that I see. Um, I see beautiful energy at the center, which I'm focusing on, the hope and inspiration and necessary changes. And when this tower, uh, you know, this change happens before the end of April, it will help the energy clear because right now there's this energy in the Newman deck, the two of swords is not a cross swords energy like the standard rider weight tarot. It's the energy of sort of flailing, throwing things around trying to figure out what to do and there's a lot of emotions involved you see you're involved I mean your energy is in water which indicates emotion so it's an emotional thing but there will be a uh, something else that happens connected to this uh, sort of flailing that will make the change come through and you will then be moving on and it looks like you're moving on with someone here absolutely that you're um, connected with and that could be anyone that I mentioned, so I won't have to say those again. So thanks for stopping, Sagittarius. Have a super April. Please like, subscribe, and comments are always welcome. Blue Hill Tarot.